I am Susie Sun, not a maker, here at Sun is the Future.net with Megan Chafin. And we are inside uh, University of Tennessee's design. Uh, Megan, can you tell us a little bit about your design? Yes, well, this is what we call the Living Light House. We were inspired by the historical precedents in Tennessee, so we wanted a house that com combined those historical precedents with new innovative technologies. So our house is inspired by the cantilever barn, which is an iconic image of our region. So we have two solid cores on each end of the space and then a flexible open living space in between. Then we also, our cantilever is actually our solar array. So it's a cylindrical solar panel that collects sunlight no matter where the sun is in the sky and it hangs out over our roof so it actually shades our southern facade in the summer. And also I see you, you're blind between the double pane windows. Uh, definitely a one of a sky. Uh, can you tell us that? Yes, we actually, along our, our open living can you space. Show us the. <laughs> yes. Shall we walk over maybe just Yeah, I'm trying not to do it without blocking traffic if we can. If I stand here, is that going so along our open living space is our double facade system, which is actually a single pane of glass on the exterior and then an insulated suspended film glass on the interior. Between that are our blinds, which our engineers found out that having them in between there actually increases their ability to control heat gain by 50%. We also are, have integrated our double facade system into our ventilation system. So in the winter, we collect all the warm air that's getting heated in there from the sun, and then we bring that into our house through our ERV. So it's actually being preheated before it comes into the house. Then we exhaust the warm air from our house out our north facade, where you typically have a lot of heat loss. So that helps add an extra heat buffer. And then we can reverse that in the summer. So you're pulling relatively cooler air from the north and exhausting cool air out the south. Not to mention, uh, it's easier um, in terms of maintenance. Yes. Yes, and of course we get all the wonderful daylight by having this glass facade along our house. And if something goes wrong mechanically, you can easily access it. Yes, all we have, our narrow windows are all operable, so you can access that area for controlling the blinds or cleaning or whatever you need to do. And I see that, oh, there are some special features here too. Is that a, kind of a, almost like a Murphy bed? It is. It's kind of a variation on a Murphy bed. So we're looking at how we can live compactly, because of course leaving a small footprint on the earth is very important these days. And so in our open, flexible living space, it actually incorporates everything, including our bed. And by having a bed that slides out from the cabinetry instead of folding down, we're able to utilize the space above for storage and our entertainment center. How in terms of, uh, were you able to meet uh, Net Zero? We were. Oh! <laughs> we definitely were. No, our cylindrical panels also collect all the diffuse light, so even on the cloudy days we had this week, we were still able to generate enough power. Um, no, actually everything's gone really smoothly for us. Because our house was designed to transport as one unit, we were able to bring it here with pretty much everything intact, which made assembly very easy and has made our time schedule easier as well. Yes, we're the only house that came in as one unit. <laughs> it was quite a sight. The living light and uh, I see the exterior has all these rims, so is it, it easily accessible? It is. That's one of the requirements, is because we do this as a public exhibit, we had to make sure that it was accessible for everyone to come through our house. So we want to make sure everyone has the opportunity to see it. Well, thank you very much. Yes, no problem. And I'm signing off. Susan Sun Lillemaker, a son is the future, with Amy at Living Life, University of Tennessee. Thank you.